Here's, I'm going to demonstrate the difference between straight bow and crooked bow because this impacts your tone immensely. And it's kind of a tricky concept to learn, but once you see it done, it's so easy to understand what's going on. So basically, to get a straight bow, you want your bow to be parallel to the bridge at all times. So, in the exercises that I've written, I have you place the bow in the middle on the A string and try to feel where the straight bow is. That is a straight bow. It's parallel. Let me see. That should be parallel to the bridge. And at no time, even if you extended your bridge out a mile, should the two ever intersect. Here's slightly crooked. Just slightly, but at some point they're still they would still intersect, and that will even that little bit will diminish your tone. So learn to be picky. Get an assistant to watch you, or practice in a mirror. I do not recommend looking and trying to decide whether your bow is straight or crooked just by looking, because it is deceiving. You can't tell. So eventually you'll learn the feel of a straight bow versus a crooked bow, and more importantly, you'll learn to recognize the sound of a straight bow. Because when the bow is straight, it's in the groove, it's really grabbing the strings. When it's crooked, it's like a train that's not quite sitting on the tracks right, and you'll, you'll learn to hear the difference. So when you want to get really advanced and challenge yourself, try a straight bow out at the tip. And that should be straight. Now my ten I know my tendency is to try to stretch and work out too hard. And that's crooked. I know that because I've worked on this. That's straight. Okay? So work on that. Learn the difference between straight bow and crooked bow. And then eventually you will also try to keep a straight bow while you're playing. And that's a challenge in itself, but it's hugely important and it's worth your time practicing it.